city on rock. Don't don't film me singing. You've planned, marketed, and researched your virtual city. Now comes the fun part, building the model. This is your chance to give judges a 3D look at what one section of your city would look like. Your model is not of your entire city. Choose a section that shows a variety of your city's best features. There are examples of past models on the website to inspire you. You have to ask them, what part of the city do you really want to demonstrate? What do you want to show people at the competition that is so unique about your city? What is innovative? How did you pick what section of your city to model? It was the most culturally diverse as well as um, aesthetically diverse areas of the city. You may only spend a total of $100 on all materials, including those used in support of your verbal presentation. Using recycled materials helps cut cost. Where do you find those materials? Hmm, let's see. All recycled materials. It's like a salad container, so it's like a <laughs> disc. A hundred dollar budget, and we only use 17. Some of the buildings are made of shampoo bottles. We spent nothing on this project, actually. All of it was recycled. We built most of our model out of bottle caps. I always ask people like, oh, when you're done with that, can I have that? <laughs> We had a lot of trouble with our scale at first. We were changing it, trying to make so, like it look realistic, but also be able to give detail in our city. Scale means that one measurement unit on your model represents a specific larger measurement unit in real life. If you use the scale a quarter inch to one foot, every quarter inch on your scale would represent a foot in a real city. The scale needs to be consistent throughout your model. One inch to eight feet. So we try to make this about the size of a water tower so that it'll make a lot of energy. If your scale is one inch equal to 100 feet, I have to show them, well, you have a road here that's two inches wide. I mean, you told me you have a 600 foot road, so I was trying to help make them understand how to take a scale and, you know, multiply it out to what it's really gonna be. Your model must include one moving part, powered by mechanical, solar, wind, magnet, or battery power. I learned a lot about engineering, like we used our connects to make this tower work. So electric motor right here, spins these three prongs to push up against this one board, and that works to simulate an earthquake that might happen along the fall. Moving part is always a challenge, so look for ideas. Look at other future cities in the past, and you want to incorporate them in your city. Uh, so with transportation or maybe your waste management system, some kind of a moving part that incorporates your infrastructure. The final model may not exceed a width of 25 inches, a length of 50 inches, or a height of 20 inches. Your model should be lightweight enough for your team to carry. We thought we had this great idea and then we'd read the rubric and be like, okay, we're getting like five points for this. Why don't we do something else? So. It took a lot of creative thinking. This is our residential zone. Over Judges there. are looking to see if your city is well planned, accessible, protects the environment, and shows solutions based on engineering. We use recycled steel. We use that as the framework for a lot of our budget. Our city, basically, its overall concept is not to rely on fossil fuels. It's not always about the extent of which your model, you know, is elaborate. Some of the simpler models um, got their point across a little bit better sometimes even because you know you're focused more on some of the um, specific details of the city itself and not so much the presentation of the cosmetic feel of it. I was more into science before I got into this competition but I think I have learned a lot about engineering and I really like it. Not one engineer goes into one project. A bunch of different kinds of engineers like in order to make this you don't well, not only need a geothermal, but you need mechanical, electrical, environmental. You need so many engineers just to get that one plant done. I honestly learned that you can't run a city without all the different engineers. What was your favorite part of the competition? The model. The model. model. Really building the model, because we got to be really creative and just have a lot of fun with it. Use the rubric, follow the rules, but most of all, have fun. It's been yeah. a really great experience. Just do it, join it, you will like it. It is fun.